Hello, this is Tranquil Lazaro. I am a moderator of the Defira Discord community, and I'm making a video here today. Uh, previously, I covered how to enter into Defira, how to participate in liquidity pools and farm rewards. I also touched on the reward structure, uh, including Fira and Sphira. Uh, today, I wanted to go into how to exit your investment or your liquidity position into Fira, so how to remove your liquidity, um, and then I, I will also just touch base on the reward system again here uh, now that my wallet has accumulated some rewards. So uh, here is the Defira website, defira.com. I will go ahead and enter Defira. And I will click play here. And this is the city of Harmonia inside of Defira. So, uh, as noted before, we were participating in the farm to receive rewards. So, first thing I will need to do is return to the farm. So, I'm going to go to the farm. I will speak to the farmer. And I had made a deposit into the Fira One Farm pool. So go here. So you have a dollar twenty-nine worth of LP tokens deposited. And firstly, I have some rewards I need to harvest. It's not a whole lot, but this is just for educational purposes. So I will go ahead. I will harvest my reward. And MetaMask will pop up here with a prompt showing me the gas fee, very low gas fee. So I will go ahead and confirm. And the transaction is submitted. So we'll wait just a moment for that to go through. Uh, but after claiming my rewards, I'm also going to show how to withdraw my liquidity pool tokens. So I'm gonna take my tokens out of the farm. And the rewards have been harvested. I can double check here and see claim rewards. It's got green. Transaction went through perfectly. So now I will go ahead and withdraw my liquidity pool tokens from the farm. So I'll click withdraw. And as noted in the previous video, there is a time based withdrawal fee structure. Uh, just to briefly touch on the reason for this. So, uh, there's two primary reasons, the first being flash loans. It's a system to disincentivize flash loans, which can be very damaging to a DeFi product. Uh, additionally, it is also to disincentivize uh, auto-yielding or auto-compounding farms. Uh, those can produce a constant sell pressure on the reward asset. It can uh, really dampen its price potential. Uh, so this is a system to disincentivize those two DeFi strategies, um, and it is generally for the long-term health of the protocol itself. You'll see my fee is 8%. It's pretty high because I just made a deposit in here not that long ago. If we go into the fee structure here, um, you will need to note a few things. First, it is a tiered system, so it goes from 25% to... 8%, so as you can see, um, within an hour of making the deposit, but it goes all the way to once you hit four weeks, it's a 0.01%, very, very minimal fee. Uh, also, this structure, while it may seem familiar, is a little bit different from some other farming protocols uh, in that the timer resets every time you make a deposit. So if you are trying to compound your rewards, meaning take your rewards from farming, swap it 50-50 back into the asset, add it back into the pool, deposit it back into the farm. It will reset your timer, so you will not be able to withdraw with a low fee. You will need to wait if you continue to compound your rewards. Uh, that said, uh, that is the breakdown, so just be aware of that. It can be costly. Uh, for the sake of this video, it's educational. I'm going to eat that 8% fee because it's only, you know, a dollar worth of assets. So I'll click on my LP token balance to withdraw. It'll populate it here. 
I will click withdraw. And I'll pay a gas fee to approve the transaction. I will confirm. And the transaction is submitted. Now, this is not the end of the process. I have not exited my position entirely. There's a few things that I will need to cover here. So transaction was successful. Not saying I have available LP tokens. Now my LP tokens are like a receipt. It represents my contribution into the FIRA one liquidity pool. So in order to get those tokens returned to me, I will actually need to go back and I will return to the market and I will visit the supplier here. So I will go to the supplier and the supplier does not believe I have any liquidity. That's unfortunate. If you run into this issue where the supplier has trouble finding your liquidity, you can either wait like there, or if you're impatient, you can go to import. But as you can see, he finally found it, Fira and one. So I'll go to manage. You'll see here, LP tokens, and it shows me my proportional amount of the pool. So I have 0 0.03 Fira and 3.791. And I want to remove those from the pool. So I will go ahead and remove all of them. So I'm going to click max here. It's going to pull out my portion of the pool. Now in order to remove my portion of the pool and subsequently trade in or burn my LP tokens, I must approve that contract. It is going to burn the LP tokens and return my deposit to me. So I will go ahead and confirm that transaction. I'm approving the contract to burn the LP token and then receive my proportion of the pool back. Luckily, all the transactions are very cheap. It is Harmony. So the approval is done. Now I can remove. So I'll confirm and I will confirm the transaction in MetaMask and it is submitted. Now, while the transaction is pending, I'm going over to the coin changer. It is done. So I have removed my liquidity from the pool, meaning the assets have been returned back to me. And from here, you can see I have the balances. I could swap them if I want to, but that is the process of withdrawing the LP tokens from the farm and then removing my liquidity from the pool with the supplier. Now there's one last part I wanted to cover here for this video, and that is the temple and the rewards. As noted before, I had claimed some of my rewards from farming. So I'm going to visit the enchantress here. And there's one thing to note, because I was in the Fyra one liquidity pair and I was farming it, I actually received three different assets as a reward. I received Fyra, which is a tradable token. I received Trank, which is also another tradable token. And then I also received Sealed Fyra or S Fyra, which is a non-tradable token. It is non-transferable, non-tradable, meaning you cannot do anything but take it to the Enchantress here. And you will be presented with two options. So you can either unseal the S-Fira, which 
is the process of unlocking the S Fira, and in exchange, you will receive Fira at the end of the unlocking period. The alternative is flexible staking. You can stake your S Fira for additional rewards paid out in S Fira. Now, for this process here, I'm going to take my small amount of S Fira, the point zero 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 one. I will need to approve the contract to spend those tokens, deposit them into the unsealing process. So I will confirm that. And once this approves, I will go ahead and I will unseal them. So I will start the timer, which is attached to the amount I am depositing here. So. You'll see it's 0 0.0001 and some change, S Fira. And I will unseal that, meaning it'll start a timer that is 365 days from when I confirm and the transaction goes through. So in 365 days, that amount will be ready to be claimed as Fira instead, a tradable token. Um, if I were to gain any additional Esfira and deposit that on top of this, that would have its own separate timer of 365 days based on the amount that I'm unsealing. But for here, I will go ahead, I'll unseal. I'll pay a very modest gas fee. And the transaction is submitted. And once that goes through, if you remember correctly, it was 0 0.0001, so it's not showing anything here, but I assure you it is certainly there. Now, just for demonstration purposes, say I'm having a little bit of remorse. 365 days, I don't want it just sitting there doing nothing. I actually prefer it compounded and I earned additional rewards off of it. So I can go to early withdraw, Confirm. And once this transaction confirms, I can actually go over to flexible staking instead. So that's done. I have withdrawn. Okay, there we go. It took it a moment, but here we go. So 0 0.0001, same deal. If I wanted to go into flexible staking, that is a separate contract. I must approve that contract. So I'll hit confirm. contract is approved I will stake it into the flexible staking and there we go transaction submitted and approved so now it is actually staking and returning a reward and additional sealed Fyra. And I could claim the rewards as they accumulate here, but I just wanted to cover the Temple and Esfira a little bit more here, but just to recap, so we withdrew our LP tokens from the farm, 
And to note, there was a withdrawal fee, a pretty steep one, 8%, because I withdrew within the hour of depositing. Then I took those LP tokens back to the market and to the supplier. And under manage, I was able to remove my liquidity, which I still have in my wallet here. So I've still got my one and my Fyra, and I would be able to do whatever I please with them. They are now fully liquid again. They are not inside the pool. I could take them uh, across the Harmony DeFi ecosystem. I could go to Sushi Swap. I could go wherever I wanted to with them, or I could even swap it all into stable coins if I wanted to lock in, lock in the value. By the way, I hope this was informational and I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, again, I am Tranquil Lazaro and I am a moderator for the Defira Discord community. Please come and join us in our Discord. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or you just want to share how much you love Defira, join us there. We are more than happy to have you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.